How you doing my dear students? I hope you're doing great. Welcome to this lecture here. You're going to have a lot of fun and you're going to learn a lot. Now, on the last lecture, we have created a user model, right? So we have created this model. How do we use it? Well, we said that controllers actually have the is the middleman, right? Controllers com communicate with the model and the views. Right now, in this home.php controller right here, in this home controller, we are actually communicating with the view. Let's create a custom controller to communicate specifically with this user underscore model.php file, right? Or this user model class. So let's go to controller and click new file, all right? I'm going to save this file. I'm going to name it users.php. Save. Let's open some PHP tags. I'm going to go into my controllers. I'm going to copy from the home controller all that code I'm gonna paste it in here make sure I have my bracket my ending bracket there for the class and I'm gonna delete this home text I'm gonna replace it with users make sure that your name of this class is the same name that you got right here all right all right perfect so now we want to communicate with that user model file so how we do that well let's create a method public function and let's just call this show there we go remember that the show method here all right will display in the browser like this this is how we're going to get to it index.php forward slash the model the controller i'm sorry and then the method inside that controller all right so now this show needs to communicate with that user model right we're going to be using it here in this method so we need to load it here so this is how we do it manually i'm going to show you two ways first way is how to do it manually the way we are going to be doing it right now and then next after that i'm going to show you how to do it by the moment that you start your application so manually goes like this this you use the always use this keyword here to refer to its class to this class methods just like we do in regular oop this load similar to the view but instead it's going to say model that's going to be the function that's going to be displaying the model and then here we put the name of that file user underscore model beautiful right that's how we load it up all right now in order for us to use it it's super simple but first we have to have some type of function here to use it right so let's go to the user underscore model and let's write a function that's going to communicate with our database right so we're going to say something like public public function i'm going to call this display underscore users or you know what get users all right there we go and now here is where we're going to be writing our query that's going to communicate with the database so as you can see the the model here the model has methods that are going to communicate with our database straight to our database here in the controller is where we load it up and then we use a function right here so we use a function like this this is how we can get those function those uh, results back here so we would say something like this this model oops this user model right here like this right and then once we we get that then we we type in the name of that like this and we can use it all right we can return values from it all right and we you can just not return values from it, right and just call the function straight and we can just put something like this assign it to a variable here it says result <coughs> for example excuse me all right so hopefully you can see how this works. On the next lecture, we're going to write our first query, all right, using the MVC, called Ignite, Ignite is MVC syntax, all right, to communicate with our database. So you're going to be learning a lot of uh, called Igniter syntax, and that's going to be next. Thank you so much. Hopefully you are understanding how this works. I'm trying to be as true, as thorough as possible, all right? See you in the next lecture. Bye-bye.